following operational video is for any ED series air powered drum dumper for hazardous areas. Before operating the drum dumper, perform a visual inspection, making sure there has not been any damage done by the previous user. Look for signs of hydraulic oil leaks at the lift and clamp cylinders. If any of these conditions exist, do not operate the unit and report this to your supervisor. Attach a 1 half inch inner diameter airline that maintains 110 psi. Begin operation by turning the airline on. The test unit functions including lift and lower, rotation left and right, and clamp and unclamp. The red safety button must be depressed to operate the clamp and unclamp functions. Disengage the step down floor lock and push the unit towards the desired drum. It is recommended to turn the air supply off during transportation to decrease unnecessary wear on the air motor. First, open the clamp by simultaneously pressing and holding the red safety button, while also pushing the clamp lever into the open position. The red safety button is a valve provided to prevent the operator from accidentally releasing an elevated drum. Raise or lower the clamp until it is centered on the drum. Do not grasp the upper or lower portion of the drum. With the jaw centered around the drum, close the clamp by simultaneously pressing and holding the red safety button while also pushing the clamp lever into the closed position. Apply a small amount of forward motion to push the unit towards the drum as the jaws are closing. This will ensure that the drum is gripped tightly. Lift by pushing the le lift lever to the up position located on the valve control box. Be sure to look for any overhead obstructions that may contact the elevated drum. Rotate the drum by pushing the rotation lever toward the desired container to allow the contents to transfer. When the desired amount of material has been dispensed, rotate the drum back to a vertical position, lower the drum by pushing the lift lever to the down position located on the valve control box. Be sure the load is within the rated capacity of the equipment. The load capacity can be found on the specification plate. Be sure that no one is standing near the mast or load when being raised, lowered, or rotated. The mast is equipped with a mechanical stop that is engaged when the cylinder is fully elevated. Keep hands or other objects clear of all moving parts such as the lift cylinder, clamp, and mast during operation. Do not use the unit on inclined floors having a slope of more than 5 degrees. Unit operation is complete, lower the clamp to the lowest position, engage the step down floor lock, and ensure the air supply is turned off. If your equipment has a scale system, the indicator has already been calibrated and tested before leaving the factory. Turn on the indicator and ensure it reads zero before engaging the drum. Follow the instructions listed in the manual. For engaging the drum. If handling liquids, it may take up to one minute for the indicator to settle on a specific weight. Stainless steel pony and foot hold downs are available as an additional safety feature when handling poly or fiber drums. Once the drum is engaged, Raise the clamp slightly and adjust the pony by pinching the tensioner and securing the hook to the lip of the drum.
To adjust the foot, pull the pin and rotate it under the drum. There are three pin positions available for different size drums.